Hey guys and dolls, it's Thrifty Shutterbug here. Uh, I thought I would show you a uh, vintage haul of uh, some salt and pepper shakers that I've gotten recently. Uh, in fact, actually, there's a couple in here not so vintage I was a little upset about, but uh, you know, right now in the UK we're under lockdown, so the only way we can really source some items um, instead of going out and about to do so would be online. So I went ahead and took the plunge and took a risk on some bundles from eBay. I say take a risk because the pictures were not great. Um, more like the lack of pictures and definitely the descriptions um, lacked a lot of detail. So uh, I kind of figured that I was going to be taking a shot and some I'm really happy with, some not so much, but that's part of the gamble, right? Uh, as long as I was going to make my money back, then I would be at least content. So um, I definitely will make my money back. So let's dig in. Anyway, um, I got two bundles. Oops, I'm sorry, my lighting went a little crazy there. I got two bundles for um, the salt and pepper shakers. And the first one is my favorite. This is the one that I purchased first and arrived first. So let's dig into that one. Now these are the ones that I bought this particular bundle for. I love these anthropomorphic corns. Uh, they're from Japan. Let's see if you can see the little Japan bit under there. So I'm getting used to this lighting. Usually I use like a, um, you know, nice professional camera when I'm doing video, but that's typically for other people because my day job is photography. So um, yeah, it's kind of weird being on the other side of the camera and using my iPhone instead. So because my cameras don't have a nifty little flip out because normally when you're using them, uh, you'd, you'd be behind the camera, not in front of it. So, <laughs> so I can't use those. Uh, but anyway, let's get back to this. So this will definitely make my money back on the first bundle, um, maybe even for the second one. So, I mean, they're just so cute. There's a bit of paint here missing, you know, the cold paint, but that kind of happens, you know, with this with stuff of this age. Otherwise, they're in very, very good condition. Um, there's no chips or cracks, kind of like my shirt says from uh, Jeffrey's Real Nifty Vintage. A um, little bit, like I said, some of the cold paint wearing off, but all in all, I think they're in great shape, especially to compared to some of the ones I've seen um, on eBay recently. So those are my favorite. Got those right out of the way because I'm the most excited about those. Um, also from that first haul, these little pair of chickens. Now my daughter said they're roosters. So I don't know, what do you think? Roosters or chickens? But what's really strange, I think you can see it right off the bat. Look at that, imagine you had your salt and pepper in there and you put it down on a table. It would just be pouring out. So uh, I don't think this set would be great for use, but definitely as a little collector's piece, a little bit of kitchenella um, on your countertop or display. Um, the one thing about these, they, they seem to have um, these little, pla not seem, they do have the little plastic um, corks in the bottom instead of the real corks. So um, I don't think they're too terribly old, but uh, all in all, again, in great condition. This one does have like a little rough spot on the beak, but not very noticeable. Okay, this one comes with its own little tray. Um, let me show you the tray first. So it has some crazing. This does have um, a chip there and a chip there. So, um, Again, not in the description, but like I said, I mainly bought it for the corn, so, you know, so be it. I wish they had better pictures. They weren't close up at all. It was basically um, three shots, all the same. So, um, this says uh, foreign, and it has the C logo there. I'm not sure um, what maker's mark that is. I'm going to have to look it up. And then it says uh, 6255, so... Yeah, not too sure about that. But anyway, cute little tray for them to sit on. And the first one here, the, these do have actual corks in. Uh, this one's a little pear. This one's in very good shape. 
does have crazing. It has a little black mark here, but I'm sure I can just wash that off. Um, no big deal. And then another little apple. And this one has quite a big cork. Strange. I don't know why one would have a small cork and one would have a large, large one, but so be it. Who am I to question it? Anyway, cute little set. Really like that one. And these. Oh, lighting's going crazy again. Sorry about that. The problem with iPhones is they just choose the settings for you. So it changes uh, as it feels. But anyway, um, little beehives or little beehive houses. I think they're really cute. Um, and then there's just the back. And then these do have their original corks and they say foreign again. So that kind of dates them to when things would have had to have been marked that way. Uh, let's see, in pretty good condition. Just a few, you know, little marks, no big deal. That looks like it was probably the original paint and it's underneath the glaze. You can see that there. So quite happy with those. Now this is a set of salt and pepper shakers that comes with a, um, I can't think now, a mustard pot. So let me show you the salt and pepper shakers first. Awesome little owls. I love these, absolutely adorable. Um, three holes in each, but you can see they're set in different places, I think, so you know which one's which. Um, those are the bottoms. It looks like someone tried scraping off the bottoms. Um, I see that a lot. It really drives me nuts. I don't know if people do it to clean it off or to make them even or what, but um, irks me. So anyway, those are really cute. And the matching mustard pot is this little guy right here. Guy or gal, actually. Um, you can see the spot there for the little spoon to rest in or stick out of. Um, this does have a little bit of glaze wear right there, but um, probably from people just picking it up and doing exactly what I did, putting their finger on the top. So uh, again, someone scraping the bottom. I don't get it. Let's see. Now we have pineapples. Very cute. It looks like they would have been painted, um, cold painted right here. Uh, to say something maybe as like a souvenir piece or something but nothing was ever um, painted on there and either that or someone tried to cover it up can't really tell what do you think um, very very cute in my opinion and then nice clean bottoms I mean you can tell a little bit of age but again plastic corks instead of um, actual corks so very happy this is the last one of that first salt and pepper haul very very happy with that now these are all um i'm sorry i should have said this before these are all to resell uh basically what i do um, besides my full-time gig of being a photographer i actually started out buying say photography props when i was done with them i would resell them um, they were always vintage ones, so then I just ended up getting into the habit of starting to buy other things that were vintage that were really cute that I just couldn't see um, stay behind. So I wanted to take them home and rescue them and um, use them myself and then give them to somebody who would love them. Um, and then it turned out to now I you know, do that on a say regular basis, so it's kind of like I have two full-time jobs, but uh, anyway. It's very time consuming, but I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, as my grandmother has said, if I had this space, I would probably keep it all. But um, I can't keep everything. This place, this studio slash office is um, crowded enough as it is. So anyway, that's the first haul. Very happy with that one. Took a chance on that um, and really no complaints. So let's see, now the second one, this one had a few more pictures, but looking back, you can tell that pictures were taken in a way that you couldn't necessarily see exactly the way everything was intended. So um, you'll see what I mean with this first set. Now, I got this one, um, not just the resale, but I did see one in there that I wanted to keep, and that was because it had some um, 
what looked like cute little Easter bunny uh, salt and pepper shakers. They were not put together, shall I say, in the photo the way they're intended to go. So, turns out I'm not going to keep these after all. In fact, a friend's going to take them off my hands because I also don't want to resell them. It's not really the look I'm going for um, with my online shop. So, anyway, cute little bunnies, right? Very cute. I thought, oh, they will look super cute. But the way they're intended to go is like that. That is definitely not the kind of look I want to go on my shop, like I just said. So, um, as cute as they are, they're not going to be on my table because I don't need um, anybody making rabbits on my Easter table. So, yeah, friend, these are going to a friend of mine. Now, they do appear vintage to me. They are very cute. Um, it's just too bad about that. Um, and then turns out another set, these don't actually appear to be, um, all too old, or at least I don't think so anyway. They might be, but forget that. Just not as old as the bunny rabbits. Uh, they also fit together. So not super happy with that either. <laughs> they say salt and pepper on the back, whatever. Um, I don't know. None of my friends have decided to claim these they won't be staying with me in that part of any collection I have so um just not my style I guess uh so yeah anyway might be putting them on eBay not Etsy feel like Etsy um it's not the, I just don't think these are right for Etsy but I think eBay they'll probably go so whatever I guess I might give them a shot Okay, so these, I really love these. So they're not the anthropomorphic corns that I got in the last haul, but um, nonetheless, little corn, salt and pepper shakers. These would be absolutely perfect for say Thanksgiving table um, or anybody who just happens to really like little corns. Um, these do have what appear to be corks in them, but they're, can you hear that? They're inside, so. Uh, good luck to whoever buys these because uh, you're going to have a task if you care to actually uh, do that. But I think most people that collect these probably won't be using them. Um, but they must have been at an e antique store or booth or whatever before because it says here like $7 a set. Which is funny because it says dollars even though I bought them from the UK. Um, so yeah. Who knows maybe they bought them on a trip so which would make sense corn's very big popular product in the US so um, speaking of US pottery I feel like these might be these little chickies again little Easter chickies or um, if you're familiar with the candy peeps little marshmallow peeps um, these rem remind me of those so I think they're super cute um, I think they probably were U.S. made. They feel like they might have been um, because U.S. made stuff is kind of like a heavy, chunkier kind of feel. So I don't think they're like made in Japan. I feel like these were probably a little um, hobbyist piece. So, But anyway, I really love them, these little chickies. These, mm, not so much. I couldn't tell in the photos what these were. I thought maybe like little lambs or something. But on closer inspection, when I got them, um, they're little garlics. So uh, let's see if there's a, like a better way to hold them, as you can see. Uh, these, though, they came like this one's got salt. Obviously, that was never poured out, and it's all seemed to seep out and harden on the bottom. Not cool. That should have been in the description, but again, I knew I was taking a gamble, and I got these for a very good price because um, I asked for less than their um, asking price on eBay. Uh, still, though, it would be really cool if people could put that stuff in the description. And this came full of pepper. It made a huge mess in the box. Um, they were wrapped pretty well, but you know, pepper can, it's tiny, it's minuscule like sand, so it can seep everywhere and that's exactly what it did. So, um, this was quite a joy cleaning these up. 
And this, I did see the chip in the picture. I wasn't too concerned because I really like them if they don't sell. You know, I kind of figure the way I think about things is only buy, think, only buy what I would want to keep in the long run. So, you know, minus a few things. If you're, bu you're buying a bundle, then you know you're going to get some stuff you, that might not be your taste. But um, these, I thought, well, I can live with these if they never sell. Plus, I always describe if something's wrong with um, an issue, you know, like a, a little product. So anyway, salt and pepper shakers, little pears. Um, really, really like these. Love them actually. Um, again, little bottoms that um, are plastic instead of actual cork. These don't have any maker's mark. At least I don't think so, no. Um, and the only thing wrong with them would be that chip. So I don't know. Sometimes people say they fix these up with like watercolors, so more power to you. Okay, these also came with pepper in them. That was fun again, but um, so on and so forth. These do have little rubber stoppers on the bottom that say Japan inside the stoppers. So, um, but you know, the quality's not great. The blue, oop, I don't know if that's too close for you to see. The blue is kind of, um, you know, melting into the white, shall we say. So, but still, I think, um, you know, these are still super cool. So, okay. This, uh, these two seem to be unmatching. I can see why the person put them together. Um, both little fruits kind of similar, um, but definitely not. I think, um, they actually really have like very different looks uh, and the bottoms are completely different. And here's my cat, Jimmy. Hi, Jim. Hi. Wants to get some attention all at the wrong time. Oop, you're gonna slip off the table. Come here, baby. Mwah. Okay. So, let's see. Yeah, so anyway, this one is cute. I think, is this supposed to be an apple? No, sorry, an apple, is it? Not quite sure. Anyway, that's what the bottom, I can't make out what it says. It's Hermetic 15 something. Can you see it? Let's see if I can point it towards the light, that helps. Okay. And then this one uh, has a little bit of crazing, but in really good condition. So again, I think this one's supposed to be an apple. Really nice little leaf, so. Not too bad. I mean, I didn't think I would list them, but uh, a friend of mine said, just list them as a matching set. Who knows? So, or, you know, mismatch set. Sorry. Um, I guess if people know what they're buying, then so be it. So I'm undecided on if I'm going to sell those or not. Um, now these, these are, they look like they're from the same little set that's meant to be maybe like a village. These salt and pepper shakers. One is the bank. And one's a little house. So, anyway. Um, the cold paint is definitely wearing off. In fact, as soon as I took these out of the package, um, you could see the orange paint just kind of falling off. So... Um, but they are made in Japan. Um, yeah, one has the stamp there. There we go. And then same with these. Also made in Japan. Looks like somebody had little stickers on there. This one's 374. Forget what that one is. Um, might have been their own inventory stickers or maybe it was the number to the set. I don't know. I'm going to have to look these up. I haven't um, researched any of these yet except for the ones I kind of knew offhand um, what they would be worth. But So Japan. Again, cold paint coming off but not so bad with this one compared to the other. And then I thought these were geese but my grandmother says she thinks they're ducks and I think grandma knows best. So little duckies, right? These might be cute for Easter. Definitely cute. Now, some little paint, that one has an actual little chip in its beak. This one has just like a little paint chip. Where is it? Right there. So anyway, still really cute. Look at those little duck butts. Aren't they cute? 
and there we're almost done um, these aren't salt and pepper shakers but they were in the same um, lot that I bought and it's a tomato a little condiment jar there we go so I think you know it'd be cute with some ketchup in or really just um, as a display cute little kitchen piece I think so uh, not bad it does have a little chip on the bottom again not in the description but so be it right okay and last but not least another condiment jar um, not sure what you would put in this one um, leave it up to your imagination uh, but this one's a little cabbage it's got a little spot for the spoon see the spoon rest there um, this does have let's see where two little chips there we go and uh, but overall cute I definitely think this would look cute on a little shelf in a kitchen so we happen to have a little shelf that we just put up in our kitchen to display little things like this and little plants and stuff so um, my other half was tempted to keep it but I said uh, no I'm selling it <laughs> so anyway um, oh that's right we did end up keeping one set of salt and pepper shakers little like milk bottles um, she's already put those out so anyway that's that and I like to say thank you for watching I uh, really appreciate it it's been whew, probably close to 10 years since I've made a YouTube video of my own on my own channel um, you know it used to be about collecting um, old retro video games but um, now my wife does all that stuff um, she did when we met that's how we met so uh, yeah there's no sense in me collecting that stuff anymore because well if I want to play a game I could just borrow hers so anyway I kind of thought um, yeah it's time for me to get back at it and show off some of these finds and really the goal of this is to get some out and about videos and showing you what I find when I'm out say at uh, car boots or if you're from the US you know outdoor flea markets um, you know charity shops thrift shops that kind of thing um, and and everywhere else and in between so anyway I hope you enjoyed this little haul I'm gonna be doing um, another video like this soon uh, not salt and pepper shakers though it's gonna be something else so um, it's probably not going to be all the same thing because very often I get a mix of things um, because they're things I've gotten before so this is some I'll have a video out soon of uh, some other things that I did get in person before the lockdown happened so um, Goodbye for now and see you next time.